本节目由痛快中国燃的康师傅冰红茶独家冠名播出。Shaman's early morning begins at sea. The sun rises anew, which is the start of the eternal dialogue between the city and the sea. This is Galangiu. This is the Shaman Island. I'm Wu Lei. The visitor of this city, Wu Lei, is here in Galangiu. I'm putting it into the one for security. I'll ensure everyone's safety. Complaining is just a sign of weakness. Working hard is the right attitude of life. Captain, you can do it. We can get off now. Today has brought in a great seafood harvest. Brother Jia, who came to the sea to get the goods around five in the morning, is so happy that he's smiling from ear to ear. As the sun returns to the sea, the lights in Shapawai go on. Before this place became an internet famous site, David from Germany and his bar had already been here. For his first stop of Gulanju, Wu Lei visits a top-class collection on this island. Look at this. Hello. Welcome to the Organ Art Center. Hello. So this pipe organ in our museum is called Boston Emanuel Church Cassavant Opus 700. Opus 700. It is the 700th organ of this manufacturing company. Later, because of some historical reasons. It was bought by a patriotic Australian Chinese who was staying here in Galangiu. That's how it got here. This is its console. So this is where the performer stands. Yes, the performer plays here. The two parts at the front and the back are its body. What Wu Lei is looking at is Asia's largest double pipe organ. It has a history of over 100 years, two stories high. The building Wu Lei is in was built tailored to this organ. I'm so honored, indeed. Bach's music resounds, grand and majestic. It's as if this 24 tons organ has become the incarnation of deities. The notes roar down, like a tide hitting the listener from all directions. He didn't expect to experience such feelings. I'm a bit. I'm a bit emotional right now. This is amazing. Okay. Thank you. This is amazing, really. I can't tell you how excited I am. I mean it. I was so emotional just now, because I love listening to music so much. I have a lot of headphones. I mean, which I considered the best. But when I was sitting there, I felt like I bought them for nothing. No songs that I've ever heard can beat this. When I was sitting there listening. I thought to myself, this melody should only exist in heaven. Would you like to play in this organ's maximum volume? May I? Yes. Let's have a try. Go on. It's awesome. May I do it one more time? Yeah. Sure. I'm so touched. I'm very touched. I want to get married here, you know. I'm a bit reluctant to leave. I will come here again by myself. The music has the magic to ease all the fatigue from this year. Being here today has relieved my stress. Sea air is just great. I don't know if it's because I'm older now. I visited Galangiu once when I was young. The experience and feelings visiting Galangiu this time is so different from the last. This is a very beautiful place. 
The culture here is very interesting, so are the people. We're now heading to our next stop. The next place. I'm not scared of the dark. I'm not either. The weather is good. David and Ting Ting are taking a stroll through Shaman's old town with their two children. David from Germany and Ting Ting from Putian fell in love at first sight in Shaman and settled down. Because he loves wandering about every street and corner of the city, David is more familiar with the old town than Ting Ting, a native. Borders in China. We're still gonna take pictures here, right? Haven't done that yet. We haven't. Do you want to? Yeah, why not? You mean wedding photos with our three kids? Yes. In the same kind of outfits. We'll dress the same. This is a bit of the Nanyang style. Nan is South. And Yang, as in foreigners? Yes. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Shaman Nanin Troop is one of David's favorite places in Shaman. David is the only one in the audience who doesn't understand the Hokkien language. But being unable to understand it means he can empty his mind and gain unlimited inspiration. The slower Nanin is sung, the more skill it takes. The slower, the more hypnotic. The elders have fallen asleep with the music. So have the two kids. Only David is listening with his eyes shining. It's like you're in a daze. Yes, I like it a lot. Look at them dancing. You'll come here very soon too, right? To dance? How many years left? Not this kind of dance, I think. I prefer a more dynamic one. It seems that David from Germany doesn't know what square dancing means to Chinese women. I like Zhongshan Park quite a lot. It's very small. I think it's the best park in Shaman. The best park. It's fashionable. Fashionable? Fashion, yes. This is a. This is a place so typical of Shaman. Yes, this is. A lot of local people come here. A place for daily life. Yeah. David likes to stroll around the old town because it boasts Shaman's unique beauty. The coexistence of Nanyang verandas and residential houses in the dark alleys shows the inclusiveness of this city. This is the number eight market. The back of it. Yes. The back of the number eight market. Number eight market is the most popular seafood market in Shaman, where local people get inspirations for their daily meals. Brother Jia, who grew up nearby, says, nothing has changed here at all. There are two types here. One has six dots. The other four dots. The ones with six dots are more expensive. King crab. Dungeness crab. And the other type is the brown crab. Mr. Seafood is Brother Jia's good friend is a walking encyclopedia. He can tell at a glance whether the aquatic products in front of him are foreign or local. Good quality. If you find a big one, tell me. I have no use for the small ones. I want big ones. Brother Jia was a Beijing drifter when he was younger and lived in Hong Kong once. At the age of 40, he opened a seafood restaurant in his hometown and now has become famous in Shaman's gourmet industry. Give me 279s. I got one a bit more than two kilograms. You want it? No. Why would I need such a big one? Let me see. Hold it with two hands, please. I will, don't worry. I'm the only one in Shaman who hold a yellow crooker with one hand. No problem if you hold it underneath its head. It's fine. I know how to hold a yellow crooker well. This one, this one's belly is a bit small. Hearing Brother Jia's sharp comments, the vendor can only give a faint smile. Weigh it for me and send it to my restaurant. Okay, I'll deliver it to you later. Send it to my restaurant later. Okay. Thank you. I need it by noon. Nice lunch. 
Number 8 market is where the old style is mostly maintained, as shaman people remember it. But for brother Jia, who gets his goods directly from the sea. The products in number 8 market no longer surprise him. It's just a place around which he shows his non-local friends when they visit. I don't eat it. I ask him out for a cup of tea. Wuxiang is one of shaman people's favorite snacks. There's always a long queue in front of a Jia Wuxiang. They may be the only ones who are here to drink tea with the owner. Let me try this coconut cake. Yeah, please try. It smells quite good. Yeah, this is a bit more sticky. Yes, it smells good. So tasty. The pastries you eat when drinking tea are called tea sides in shaman. Wu Lei is here to visit a super cool local band, Lei Kyo Electroacoustic Band. He's just in time for Mr. and Mrs. Lei's tea time. They are the, the main musicians. My son is on Galanjiu. My grandson is studying at Shaman Music School on Galanjiu. Music school? He plays the cello. He's only a few years younger than you. How many years? Two or three years? No, I don't think so. What year was he born in? 2002. He was born in 02. He's two years younger than me. Senior three. I was born in 1999. He's three years younger. I heard that you have a band. Yes, we're the Lei Kuo band. Lei Kuo? Our last name is Lei. Your surname is Lei. Kuo stands for this house. We, who love playing instruments, usually. Come together. We all play together. In this courtyard. You play here every week? Yes. In summer, we sometimes go out with our instruments. So when you perform, it's like traveling. Yes. Did you ever think about moving to another place to live? No, we don't. You don't? Shaman is great. Yeah. I think so too, a great place to settle down. Yes, especially for the elders after they retire. It's relatively quiet. Wow, this is... Hawaiian electric guitar. You also need this. A slide bar. Play the first string. Press it down like this. That's the sound. It gives a gorgeous sound. The Hawaiian electric guitar gives a glamorous vibrato, like ocean waves blowing through long hair. This is an instrument with an island's temperament. A drum. For me? For you. Hello. Mr. Chen, our leader. Hello, Mr. Chen. Hello. I'm Wu Lei. Hello. I'm your new drummer. I'm going to enjoy your conga drum performance. I don't know how. This is the rhythm for moderato. What's moderato? Grandpa. Hello. Are you coming down to play some music? The average age of Lei Kuo band is over 60. The little girl watching from above is good at Guzheng. The piano music coming from next door is played by a granny in her 80s. On Gulanjiu, any senior citizen or child you come across on the streets may be a skilled musician. Gulanjiu has a long musical tradition. The musical enlightenment of Mr. and Mrs. Lei is being taken to a church to sing before they were even old enough to understand anything. Shaman is very different. It has been developing very fast. But Galangio haven't changed much. Every time I come here to play music, I feel great. Like right now, we can also hear the sound of a piano, right? It's from next door? Yes. The player is over 80. Galangio is said to have the highest density of pianos in the world. There are no motor vehicles on Galangio, so it's relatively quiet. The sound of music won't be. So I heard. That family concerts are especially popular on Galangiu. Yes, what we're doing is a family concert. They have been doing family concerts decades ago. They exchanged food stamps for rice wine. Inviting friends over to play and sing together. Music is the shared memory of children on Galangiu. It's also how they remember their childhood. You want to fry fishes? Yes. I fished them. Wow, you did? Very small ones. What's this type of fish called? Yellowhead catfish. You can catch them just by fishing by the sea? Wow! And salt too. Salt. A little bit salt. A little bit pepper. There's not only music but also fried fish. Music can also be a daily necessity. In this era when everything changes a lot, 
There are people who love music for their lifetime and spend their whole life on an island. Be careful. Done. It's done. Wow. Let's go, Grandpa. Okay. Wow, this is really, really great. My visit this time showed me that Shaman is a city where people can slow down and listen to the voice of their hearts. I think there are some things in life you can experience only when you slow down. It was truly an eye-opener. Happiness is not hard to get. Happiness can be something one repeats day after day, year after year. Eric! This is the ninth year of David's life in Shaman. In the past nine years, David went from a handsome young man to a bearded hunk. He now has a wife and three children. Where are your shoes? Put them on. Put them on first. The daily life of David's family begins with Ting Ting urging her daughter to put on her shoes. David himself likes to walk around barefoot, setting an example for the children to liberate one's nature. In this Chinese Western family, a number of different living habits coexist in harmony. The thing now is that we need to give them all the information. What we're gonna do is to localize this thing. To establish a shaman brand and go nationwide with it. This morning, the atmosphere in David's house is a bit tense. You can't say you can't do this, you can't do that right now. If so, there's nothing we can do. Yes, I think we shouldn't do anything. Why are you angry? I'm not angry. I'm not angry. Yes, so what do you mean? Didn't we say we were gonna do it today? So the first thing is to start a conversation, instead of getting angry. This is interesting, but we don't have to write it down now. David and Ting Ting have a family of nine. They are living in a rented small house. After having three kids, both their life and career are under tremendous pressure. They can't live as casually as before. Okay, you'll have a big store, where you can brew beer, and that it cost you two million. And you need to pay the rent, and a warehouse. 300 square meters may not be enough, you need 400. You want a good kitchen, a good thing. You can have two bar counters, one on the left, and the other over there. And you need really good food there. No good food, no store. What are you thinking, David? Just get one thing done first, before you think about something else. You're... We haven't even done anything yet, we haven't sold anything yet. And you're already talking about doing something else. Of course. What do you mean, of course? That's not how things work. I think it is. If you can do one thing well, and people are buying. And if that thing is good enough to you. You can say you want to do a new product. You haven't even started to sell anything yet. You're already thinking about something new. Ting Ting is a woman of action, while David is a dreamer. In the process of realizing their dream, they have a big fight. Amy, come on, wanna pick up your brother? Yes, yes. Because they need to pick up their son from school, the fight is temporarily set aside. Hold me. Let's go hand in hand. Hand in hand. I need to hold the umbrella and your brother's raincoats. Don't hold the umbrella. Amy, look what you've turned into. You've turned into. We need to pick up a parcel, too. I really can't hold you. This is making me so angry, you know? I'm really angry. No. I'm angry. No. Stop screaming. If you don't stop crying, you're going home. No. Okay, we're going home. No. Enough. Oh. Hold the umbrella yourself. Hold on to it. Ha. <laughs> What would you like to drink? You want a beer or gin tonic? In the evening, David returns to Fat Fat Beer House to meet a university classmate who came from afar. You actually want to make a shaman beer, not a German beer. We want to make a local brand. So we make 40 different beers. David loves shaman. He shows his love by making a shaman beer brand behind every beer's strange name. 
There is a story about life in Shaman. Come with us. Come with us. I like that one. I remember that's why you told me. You were going to move Shaman and never come back to Europe. I was like shocked. Like, what's going on? Then you really never came back anymore. I'm very happy that I disappeared. In China, it's very easy for people to start something, stop something, to create something new, and try something out. In Germany, I would never dare to do it. When he first came to Xiamen, David was at risk of having to leave the country at any moment because of his visa. He and Ting Ting opened their store in order to be together. My wife and I were like, a little bit crazy. We did so much in such a short time. I didn't speak Chinese, and she didn't speak English when we met. Really? How? Her English is still very bad. How? How does that happen? I don't know. They didn't speak the same language when dating. So they used their hearts to communicate. They used a translation app on their first date. And Ting Ting felt like that period of time was very fascinating. We started building a bigger factory. It's a little bit scary right now. I have three children now. You are very cool. <laughs> Everything that we built is not because I'm so good, but because of my wife and me together. My wife made a lot of things possible. Not just money, but also being a local and her personality. She's much more of a business-capable person than I am. They argue, but they love each other very much. David knows that Ting Ting is the most important person in his life. She is the one that makes all great things possible. If you want the yellow croaker to stay yellow, then at night. Brother Jia's peer in the industry is here to visit. She is the star of Hangzhou Cuisine and the head chef of Jiangnani, Tuzi. She welcomed her friend with noodles, cooking a bowl of yellow croaker noodles in Jiangnan style. This is the simple exchange between two giants in the culinary world. The yellow croaker noodles are here. Did you use fish sauce from a local brand? I just bought it from the market. As a gift back, Brother Jia also used local ingredients to make a special dish. Our local peer is crayfish. I am a little crayfish. In this battle, the two culinary experts silently compete amidst laughter. Those innocent audiences can't help but feel hungry as they watch. Brother Jia, who has lived in other places and tasted food from all over the world, only cooks with local seafood after opening his restaurant in his middle age. This is the taste from his childhood. For him, Shaman's Ocean is like his own treasure trove. He knows which seafood is caught during which month, even down to the day. That's why his restaurant doesn't have a set menu. Because the seafood is different every day, he is truly living next to and off the ocean. Roast a bit more seaweed. Why did he return to Shaman after his 40s? Because Shaman has his familiar friends. The ocean, seafood, and seaweed. This seaweed is from... Jinhai. From Jinhai? The seaweed it should be the best seaweed alongside China's coastline. The seaweed that is only available during October of the lunar calendar is one of Brother Jia's points of pride. This is local crayfish. This is called soy sauce seafood. Right, this is from the local shaman. Soy sauce seafood is a traditional style of the fishermen in old shaman. The fishermen didn't have many spices on their boats. Freshly caught fish with a bit of soy sauce is already delicious. This giant tiger prawn dish is made from fresh caught prawns. I think marinated raw prawns can completely bring out the natural flavor of the shrimp. I don't think that it loses to even Japanese sashimi. Brother Jia would proudly introduce every dish served with full confidence. Of the local seafood. Try it with your chopsticks. This is Shaman's hot sauce. Shaman people like this taste. You can't buy it elsewhere. The old Shaman canned food factory specializes in this. But it was a government-owned company and is now closed. Afterwards, there was a group of the old employees who still make and sell the sauce. Whom do they sell it to? The oyster omelets at Lianhua are made with this for a lot of local and popular restaurants in Xiamen. This hot sauce is one of 
Xiamen's oldest products. Sometimes, your hometown is the taste of your childhood. After tasted many top-ranking specialties, Brother Jia still loves the original flavors from his memories the most. Let's try the steering move from earlier. Wu Lei is at the sailing center where his adrenaline spikes to personally experience the excitement of the sea. Use your foot to hook it. Use my foot. Let's let Wu Lei do it. It feels like I'm falling. Right now, you are but might be right on the water. But you can easily fall this way. It's just your... I'm laying flat. Just your thighs are on the edge of the boat when you're sitting low. Right, my butt is. Your butt is hanging over. It's touching the water. If we were on the ocean, you would be touching the water. What does that feel like? Super cold. Super, super cold. Like that. Okay, hold the rope and try it. Are there sharks in this strait? No, but there are dolphins. Dolphins? This bay has dolphins. Really? Yes. We see them once or twice every week. Do dolphins bite people? They don't. Okay, let's go. I am a man from One Piece. Like Capricorn that he is, Wu Lei carefully eliminated each danger, even the dolphins. He was a bit scared, but falling in the water sparked Wu Lei's will to fight. He wanted to battle the ship for another 300 rounds. It's fine. I'm a man. Every man should have experienced it. On the shore, the old man who can walk on water returns with his bounty. Shaman is surrounded by the ocean, and everyone travels between the islands during their work commute. Ships are the everyday tool of transportation. When we go to work, we move from the third ring to the fourth ring road. When people in Shaman go to work, they enjoy the beautiful ocean and sky. David's family is taking a ship to buy sweet potatoes on another island. They're just buying sweet potatoes, but it's as if they're on a cruise vacation. Look at what the aunties are doing. Go take a look. Auntie, are you harvesting sweet potatoes? As a child that grew up on the sand, Amy goes straight into play when she sees sand and dirt. Ting Ting, who's already used to this, only requires Amy. Not to eat the dirt. We can put Amy here. She really likes playing in the dirt. Look, she's already having a lot of fun here. The ones here are those of good quality, right? Right, the good ones. Quite good ones. When she's talking, I can translate if you don't understand. Okay. She said to pick a small bag as a gift. What is this? What is this?
David likes to use local ingredients to brew beer. This time, he is especially interested in the famous local sweet potatoes and wants to create a new beer fit for winter. Are those in the bag big ones or small? You are as heavy as one bag of potatoes. You also cost 25 yuan, right? Thank you. Thank you all. Say goodbye to this auntie and everyone. Bye bye. We're leaving now. Thank you all. In reality, they've had a tough year. Ting Ting lost one of her important and steady sources of income. All their savings went into the brewery and restaurant. And they have three children, without even realizing their youth has passed. The reality of being responsible for many others comes in a second. But every time she walks on the beach with her family, it feels like this is the life she wants. Filled with the scent of the ocean, the pier is one of the liveliest places on the coast. This is the prep kitchen of a seaside city. Wu Lei is going to receive the boat with Brother Jia at the pier, and will experience the most traditional culture of the pier. What happened to your throat today? I lost my voice. How did that happen? How did you lose your voice? I was so busy, unloading all day. You were unloading all day? Right. So tiring. Brother Jia, do you want something to protect your voice? It's fine. Thanks to the digital age, the ship's captain will message. Brother Jia if there's a good catch. Brother Jia already has plans for the seafood when it's still in the ocean. This is a conch. That big? Some are even bigger. Is it totally edible? Yes. Xiamen is at the intersection of the East and South China Seas. The Kuroshio current also passes through. It has an extremely large variety of seafood, just like us. Wu Lei also kept asking questions like, what is this? And why is this fish so big? A big crab. If it pinches you, your finger might fall off. I'm afraid that it'll pinch me. Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs. Are you okay? You stepped on my brother. Does it move the goods up? Yes. It will lift the cargo up. Mantis shrimp. The thorns are really sharp. This is awesome. This is an ornate rock lobster from Taiwan. The one Wu Lei is holding weighs more than 3.5 kilograms. It's an achievement for a boat to even catch one. This boat is really lucky and caught four. Will it suck on you? I'll just touch it quickly. That feeling. Let me feel. The fishing boat goes out to sea for over 10 days each time. Each net full of catch is kept in the ice boxes and stacked up like drawers. At the pier, the fresh seafood gets unloaded the first. The captain keeps urging everyone sternly. In the busy crowd, everyone is working hard to make their living. 10 years ago, Brother Jia was also fighting for fish in the crowd. Let's go. There were a lot of aunties. Young guys and uncles there. They were discussing something, but I couldn't understand. At that moment, I understood what life at the pier was like. It was a really wonderful moment. Because this felt like real life. There's a saying in Fujianese dialect that means, the heavens bless sincere people. Brother Jia says that being sincere is not being dumb, but being the bird that flies first and keeps on flying. The heavens will reward those who work hard. This is why 30% of success is luck, and the other 70% is hard work.
We're going to go buy something, and then we'll go back. When they opened the first bar in Shapawai in 2013, this area was still an old pier, filled with elderly residents. David and Ting Ting were attracted to the rich cultural and people heritage of Shapawai, and thus decided to stay. Please add in the intestines for me. The cooked intestines. He's saying a children's song, right? His Chinese is really good. He was born and grew up here. Hey, I haven't seen you in so long. On their way back from shopping, them stopped at the old location of their bar to visit their previous neighbors. Back then, the aunties saw David wake up at four or five in the morning to brew beer. They brought food for him every day so that he wouldn't be hungry. Even though they didn't speak the same language, they still used body language to build a close relationship. It's great that Auntie just happened to be here today. Where do you live now? We all live together. Ting Ting, her older sister, younger brother, mom and dad, all together. All together with me, right? I'm very fat now. Very fat. You gave us gifts again. You give us gifts every time. It was great seeing you all. Look, this used to be our bar. We're leaving now. Bye, Auntie. Take care. Okay. They're still here too? Yes, still here. They left and kept greeting people along the way. The two young people from out of town found their home in this tourist city. They're very nice. When I was there, I almost cried. They are my favorite people in Chapawai. Because the auntie treats him. She gave you things again just now, right? He took another bag. Every time she gives him something, he naturally accepts it. He doesn't try to decline, he always takes it. I've told her a lot of times, a few hundred times, that I don't want anything. But I don't play that game anymore. One of the beers we created before, told the story of the auntie and her husband. Both of them are locals. One of them lived at Shapawai and one at Shapatu. When he married her, he came from Shapawai with a sedan chair, right? They carried her in the sedan chair from Shapatu to Shapawai. She married into Shapawai. We made two different beers, one was called Shapatu and the other Shapawai. Just like here. There are those two places in real life. Amy and Alec both have a quilt from the auntie. She made them. She gifted them to us when they were born. Every time we give birth, we always bring the baby over to visit her. But sometimes she's not there. She used to not be there often. So today was great timing that she welcomed us at the door. After coming here, we really fell in love with Shapawai. We met a lot of different and interesting people. They're not very strong or powerful people. But they have their own stories. I see you. We're going to watch Gaojia Asterisk Opera today. There is a Gaojia Opera performance in Shapawai today. Brother Jia brought tickets for the entire family. Hold my hand. When he's out at sea, Brother Jia says he's like a child in his cradle, in front of his wife and children. He's a husband and father, learning how to be gentle like the sea. The city is expanding. The pier and seafood market are relocating further away. The Dan people asterisk are moving off the water, but the people are still deep connected to the sea. And the memories and taste from childhood won't change. Brother Jia is still stubbornly serving local seafood only. Staying steadfast and not changing is his way of welcoming the incessant future. Shapawai didn't hold the, the Wangchuan ceremony this year, but Zhongshan did. In the morning, the Wangchuan boat paraded through the town. In the evening, the boat was burned for good luck. Tens of thousands of people went there. Maybe everyone needs a bit of luck. We are all looking for our own happiness. I was born on Dolanjiu and work in Xiamen. I also retired on Dolanjiu. When I visited Xiamen this time, I felt its special charisma. The culture is quite interesting 
and well worth everyone's time to learn about. I saw Shaman in a new light, and I truly, genuinely want to visit here again. Shaman might not be a very exciting city, but it's a city where daily life is very good. It's very convenient to live in this city. It's so beautiful and very nice. At the brewery, David's sweet potato beer is stored and ready for the deliciousness after months of brewing. You succeed when you work hard is a motto of the Hakkian people. You rest so you can work harder and fight harder. The weather clears up and Brother Jia can finally go fishing at sea. Fishing is my way of relaxing. I've lived in a lot of places, but didn't feel like I belonged there. Shaman is my home. At the entrance of the number 8 market, Li Xiaosheng is standing at the same spot, dressed in all white, selling saute noodles which have been sold for the past 40 years. During the class at Sanwuchu, Ting Ting's twin sister, Yuan Yuan, is teaching Hokkien traditions and culture to the children. During our shooting at Xiamen, we ate sea worm jelly, oyster omelets, and saute noodles. The food in Xiamen is full of the taste of the sea. We went deep into the ocean, saw numerous big fish, and met many interesting individuals. When the world is too stressful, the people that live here will look towards the ocean. The ocean nurtures all life, but never limits it. And so the people here are like the ocean living at their own pace, with their small but beautiful lives. They are like the tide, slow, persistent, and full of strength. The ocean in my heart is the ocean at home. It looks like it's leaning to the right. An ancient capital, full of culture. I am a person of Qin. I love Qin Qiang Opera. Find more behind the scenes at variety shows of Cena Entertainment.